Hey guys, it's John from Infinite Remote Control, and today I will be unboxing the Prodigy 620 Duo Charger from ProTech RC. So this could be comparable to the Thunder Power Dual Charger. Um, it has a total of 800 watts, 40 watts per port. Or sorry, 800 watts, four, uh, 400 watts per port. And um, here you can just see that we have two balancing boards. Um, Obviously one for each uh, side of the charger. There's your manual, instruction manual. Um, it's just like any other four button charger. Um, here you have some clips if you're gonna be hooking up to your car battery. Um, but it is recommended to run a run this on a 1000 watt power supply. Um, and then here's some more adapters. It looks like you might actually have to solder on your own um, plugs so uh, they don't come with uh, solder already uh, pre-attached so if you're not too familiar with soldering you might want to research how to do that because you will have to solder on your own connectors and then here's the charger I'll get the box out of the way um, it looks very very nice I love the blue color of it it looks super clean I like the color blue this is just perfect um, right here you have your DC uh, banana plugs that you'll be plugging into your power supply or you can just attach them right on to your clips like so and then you can attach that to your car battery that's a very nice feature and um, so you just have your battery type, um, your minus and plus, descending, um, inclining, then your stop and uh, well, sorry, your start and enter. And um, I'll be doing a bunch of how-to videos on how you use this charger, how chargers like this are used, and um, just kind of going over this because I'm new to charging. Um, I've had a uh, Passport charger by Dynamite uh, with no screen, just simple LED uh, lights and just one button. So I've not had to do too much programming. You can see right here that there's one balance port and you can plug your board into that. Or you can just plug, um, if you have a standard plug, here, I can show you. You can actually just plug in your standard battery straight into that like I did there and um, that's if you have one of your standard balance connectors like this there's your temperature sensor it can go up to 6S LiPo there's your output fan same thing on the other side output uh, balancing points temperature sensor port and another fan so this charger can Let's see here. Uh, the input needs to be 12 to 18 volts. The charge uh, current rate can be anywhere from 0.1 amps all the way up to 20 amps per port. Uh, the discharge current is anywhere from 0.1 amps to 5 amps. And um, the drain for the balance port is 300 milliamp hour, or milliamps per cell. You can charge one to six cell lipo, and up to fifteen cell for NiCad and nickel metal hydrate, and um, for uh, the dement. Oh, never mind. That's all that you're gonna have for this. So it looks very, very nice, very clean. This is perfect if you have like a, a high charge rate battery, like um, Gen Zs. I know that they can be charged up to five times their cell capacity. So if you have a 5,000 milliamp hour Gen Zace battery, you can charge that at 20 amps with this charger, and that will get um, the battery done in under 20 minutes for your charge time, maybe even 15 minutes. It all depends on how um, discharged and how charged your battery is. It's got a ton of settings, which I'll go over that in the next video, which will be the review and the how-tos. So there's the Prodigy. 620 Duo, you'll need to solder on your own connectors, 
and it comes with two balancing boards. 